You agree? Yeah, I think she's. Uh, it, it'll be. It's an interesting way of, as you know, President Johnson said, I'd rather have him pissing outside the tent than right. uh, inside. Um, <laughs> right. And you can say that better on the inside of the tent pissing out right. than the outside of the tent pissing, pissing in. That's right. I that's know right. the pissing quotes better than you do. <laughs> I don't mean that. I know you're the editor of Newsweek, but you know, when it comes to those, just call me up. I, I will, I, I will uh, put you on speed dial. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Um, so but another thing I think before we move on to the next election is, could we possibly fix the election process as we have it now? I couldn't help notice that there are three states that are still counting the votes. American Idol seems to be able to do it before the hour is up. <laughs> But we don't know who is the senator in Minnesota. We don't know Georgia. Alaska. We don't know in no. Georgia. Uh, and also, you know, uh, it, why does states like Alaska, with populations in only the hundreds of thousands, Wyoming, uh, lots of these states, why do they even have two senators? You know, California, we have like 37 million people, and we have two senators. And Wyoming has three people, and they have two senators. Uh, it just seems wrong. It just seems unfair. It just Pretty seems not... Pretty difficult to change in the Constitution. But, it is it, but is it right to change it? How could you change it to pass a, a, well, a new... Con well, that, well, would take, well, that would take... You could make a, you could make that a would take... But the, I think the Electoral College is something that's really that messed up That should go out well. the window, too. And, uh, and I think that uh, primaries where we have, in, in Iowa or other states, where you have caucuses where people have to stand up and declare who they're for. It's not a secret ballot. And I think that, although that's controlled by, the, by each party, I think that that seems anti-democratic. It disenfranchises the military and anyone who has uh, weird working shifts because they can't right. be there to vote. How about, let's just start with one small thing, right? Let's just let people have the day off on the day that we vote, right? <laughs> and, 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 let's, and with that, Let's make it a Wednesday, right? Because if you put it on Friday, people are going to take the three-day weekend, and you're just going to have more absentee ballots. If you put it on Monday, people are going to take the three. Make it a Wednesday, right? Call it Columbus Day or whatever we want to call it. Hump Day. We invented a holiday for him. It's Hump Day already. And uh, make it Hump Day. Make it Election Wednesday so people don't take the vacations and they aren't out of their election places on the day that we do the free vacation vote. Uh, <laughs> I Andrew Jackson first proposed uh, doing away at the Electoral College after, like another Tennessee president, he won the popular vote but lost. Uh, right. It's something yeah. about my state. I don't know right. what it is. Uh, we don't do well, uh, even though we win uh, a lot of times. <laughs> uh, in 1828, 29. And his argument was that the president of the United States is the direct representative of the American people and that the House is proportioned according to population. That's the answer to your the first question you ask is, they did have this fight in Philadelphia about how do you get a popular crew in the House, and then the Senate would be wiser and all that. So but, but, they, they, they did adjudicate it. But in those days, there was no state with 37 million people. No. I, I think like many things, you know, they couldn't foresee. They couldn't foresee assault rifles either. They couldn't foresee global warming. And I think the the mossbacks, the retrenched people, will always say, well, you know what? We can't fool with the founding fathers. They were geniuses. They were, but they weren't Nostradamus. <laughs> oh, no. But, you know, we have improved a lot in making it easier for people. We have early voting in Florida. It goes on for two weeks. Absentee ballot without having in needing an excuse. Uh, and uh, some people just don't want to vote. And, we, you know, we were supposed to have a record turnout of of, uh, of voters uh, this year. In Florida, the same number voted this year than voted four years ago. And some well, people...